Product Development Manager for Corn and Sorghum Seed Treatments for Bear Crop Science. And I'm Greg Ginesty, our Product Manager for Corn Products and Seed Treatments for Bayer. It's really an exciting day because this is the first time we're coming out with our new innovation, Pancho Votivo 2.0, and telling the world about it. What it is is basically we've taken Pancho Votivo, which is you know, number, America's number one seed treatment, very trusted insecticide nematode protection product on corn, and we're adding a new component, a third component, or a second biological to it to come to Pancho Votivo 2.0. So Pancho was all about insect protection above and below ground. Votivo is about nematode protection. Nematode protection, but also um, plant health promotion, plant growth promotion. And now this last piece that comes into Pancho Votivo 2.0 is going to be all about soil health. And now I'll let you, Jennifer Riggs, tell you what this new biological seed treatment is going to do for the corn plants. Yeah, great. Thanks, Greg. So 2.0, which we're adding to Pancho Votivo, is bringing soil health, as Greg said, to, to the grower. And what it's able to do is take the plant tissue that's part of our organic matter in the soil and break down the cell walls quicker of what would naturally happen of, those, of that plant tissue. With that release of those nutrients from that plant tissue, more microbes move into that root zone and they actually then can be like a little manufacturing plant of, of taking a lot of nutrients out of that So at the end of the day, it's always about the yield increase, right? And four bushels over Pancho Votivo, well, that means it's a total of 14 bushels a grower that can expect over a standard fungicide system. Soil health is, again, you know, because we're uh, increasing the productivity of the soil uh, and the nutrient availability to the plant, this is exactly what, you know, what is going into increasing the health of that soil around the plant. So, um, you know, we're not changing what a grower should do in terms of applying fertilizer. We're not changing the year-in-year -year, um, uh, composition of the soil. You know, it is a seed treatment, so it stares right there. Uh, it is a biological, probably does, you know, it's not going to survive the climatic conditions in between two growing seasons, but again, by the way of delivering it as a seed treatment, it's right there where it needs to be at the right time. Around that seed, most of the yield potential of corn is determined in the four, six, four, first four to six weeks when the plant germinates but that's also when the plant is most susceptible to diseases and pests so giving it that extra protection that extra health is really important to maximizing the yield potential of the genetics in that bag so the product would be made available to growers for the 19 planting season um, you know very similar to when we introduced Pancho Votivo um, there was very little grower awareness of the nematode problem and there were still a lot of you know question marks about biologics so I've heard a lot of things I've tested a lot of things some work some don't really work so a lot of education had to be put in place to get growers to understand by the time they got the product available that was really going to bring something to them now you fast forward six years we've built so much trust you know 80% of the time a grower sees a yield benefit from using Pancho Votivo well we want to do the same process with Pancho Votivo Votivo 2.0. We want to use the time between now and market introduction to really educate our growers, um, get them to you know see, it, come to these shows, come to some of our field trial days, and see for themselves what this product can do, so that when it's available to them, they can trust it and apply it on their on their acres. We've been actually testing the product for three years out in the field across the corn belt and seeing you know positive response across all different kinds of geographies and different types of soil types. But we will next year have replicated strip troughs out in the field for growers to be able to actually put their hands on the product, to be able to feel it, see what it does on their on their particular situation and their particular farms. So I, I there will be the opportunity. Universities will be testing it so they can talk to their extension individuals for their local, you know, for their states about what they think of the product. So this next year is really our year to get out there and show the, that they can trust the second biological just like they can. Pancho Motivo has been for them 
so this is, uh, you know, again, this is the first time we got out and we have a brand new display uh, that we're having here at Farm Progress Show. Uh, starting to show growers a little bit what the product actually does. Uh, we're doing some soil testing so that growers can see for themselves. We're putting seed in there, um, you know, determining the level of CO2, which actually comes from the microbial activity in the soil, um, so that growers can start understanding, again, part of this educational rollout. Um, and then at every show, every opportunity we have, we're going to continue to deliver that message. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.